Isolateral strength day. I want you to do all of one side before moving on to the other side as you go through this. You're gonna do this for two total rounds, okay, as you go through. Um, reminding you guys, okay, use dumbbells, kettlebells, weights accordingly, okay, specified to your reps. You may have to adjust and change weights here as you go through it. You may be able to use the same one the whole time, see what you guys have. Okay, starting off, you have a rear foot elevated lunge. If you can, use some weight. If not, you're using body weight. Very important that you keep your shoulders over top of your hips and that front knee over top of your heel when you do eight total rear foot elevated lunges using a chair or a bench, okay? Moving into Renegade Rows. So when you guys are doing your Renegade Rows, again with those dumbbells, try to keep your hips from moving. Feet are wide, okay? Rowing straight back. You're going eight all on one side before doing eight all on your left side, okay? Into tricep kickbacks. Tricep kickback, okay? You can use your bench or your chair to stabilize yourself. You have eight going straight back, keeping that elbow high and fixed, extending all the way back, giving a squeeze at the top, eight right side, eight left side. Moving into, oh, moving into six right and six left T push ups. T push up, okay? Looks like so. You're gonna be right here. Give me a full push up all the way up. Extending that arm all the way over the top of your shoulder, okay? Keeping it close to your body like you're pulling an arrow through a bow. Six on one side, six on the other side for 12 total push-ups into um, a 20 second alternating single arm plank hold, okay? So, you start on your right side. Again, start on your right side. Hips parallel to the floor. Hold it for 20 seconds. After 20 seconds is up, switching sides, okay? Keeping that hand under your face. Hips are square to the ground. 20 seconds. Hold it, okay? Your score, 